Hello everyone. Today, I'll demonstrate how to incorporate motion blur and depth of field using post-processing in Unity. If you want to learn how to set up post-processing in Unity, refer to my previous video or click the top right corner. Go to the post-processing volume and add the motion blur effect. In the motion blur, you can modify various settings to adjust the intensity of the motion blur. Like the shutter angle setting in Unity's motion blur post-processing simulates a camera's exposure duration controlling the intensity of blur. The sample count determines the quality and smoothness of the blur effect by setting the number of samples taken per pixel. Increasing the sample count improves the quality but can impact performance. Head over to the Effects tab and select the Depth of Field effect. Focus Distance precisely defines where objects attain sharp focus, creating a blur for objects closer or farther from that specific distance. Aperture fine-tunes the size of the lens opening, dictating the depth of focus within the image. A wider aperture amplifies blur, whereas a narrower setting maintains more focused elements. Focus length determines the virtual lens focal length, influencing both perspective and depth of field in the scene. Max blur size governs the highest level of blur applied to out-of-focus elements, regulating the overall intensity of the blurred effect. Finally, apply the vignette effect. Vignette enhances focus by darkening or blurring the edges of an image or scene, directing the viewer's attention toward the center. This technique is frequently used in photography and videography to refine composition and evoke particular moods or styles. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's fantastic when viewers find it both enjoyable and informative, especially regarding Unity's post-processing features.